We are bringing our heads, our bodies, everything to this party. And when we come here to work, it is unfortunate for others to grade others as they have been bought. Are you getting me? Let me ask a simple question. How much can you buy me? No. How much? You look at me, I might be small. How much can you buy me? Just look at me. And just look at me. My head here, there are people who want it. Not to, they want it daily to use it. And you go and sit and say, I have been bought. Bought, me and I want to tell my colleagues of Katonga that I am I'm priceless. I am what? I saw some of them posting on Facebook that they oh, all those social media that have failed to pay. I'm, I'm, I've, I've taken coffee from farmers have failed to pay. I, those are, they, are, they don't know how coffee is grown. The owners of the coffee are not complaining. And you, you are just a person who has never seen a drop of coffee, you are complaining. Do you have sense? <laughs> and I want to tell you today, if there are some baggies here, you talk to them. I, I have been entrusted with one of the richest institutions in this country, called the Buddhist Cooperative Board. As we speak, it has over 12 million kilograms of coffee. For you who know how to multiply, get 11,800 times 12.5 million kilograms. That's the money in my hands. Plus equipment, plus assets. Those are the items they have said you are the Ascari. If I want the money, why don't I take that one? Why don't I take that one? Oh, yes. I want to tell the people of Katonga that I am priceless. And I want to tell Dr. Yesiga and the team that we have been there for them. We have been there what? For them. The reason they cannot move is because we are no longer there for them. So I want to tell you the members of FDC that your part is in safe hands, and I'm asking you to give me another time. Nothing will get lost. I heard they are saying we have sold the Najana Kumbi. This Najana Kumbi here, this, this, this here, this one here that I sell with this. You guys, why do you want to demean us to that extent? Your property, Najana Kumbi, is very safe. I laugh at someone that I went to look for Garuga that we sell. Garuga knew me when I was young, when I was working for PTA Bank as a financial officer in 1992, getting a PTA check of. I am telling people that I, I saw cash. I saw money when I was still not yet born. And I will leave it. And I will never, never cheat anybody. Never cheat what? Yes. I said I was going to speak for a short time, but unfortunately I've spoken for long. I want to also conclude on a few issues. Everything which is taking place in the party is legal. Is what? Legal. Today when I went to nominate, the electoral commission said, but why do you bring all this? I wanted to demonstrate that you have I've brought a secretary general who has gone to what? School. Not the one who goes to Kuyungiriza. Are you getting me? So, what we're all doing is legal, as the Honorable Minister said. And I can tell you, all of you, on the day the Electoral Commission has announced to come, the meeting will be conducted according to the law. Are you getting me? And we have to put your people in the offices. I am lucky that I have a lawyer called Yusuf and I have a lawyer called...
take it on. And uh, I can tell you, they have assured me that anything we are doing, if they want legal, we shall go legal. If they want politics, we shall go what? Politics. If they want the other one, we are known to it. We are known to it. We want to tell the people that the FDC is a party you should trust and believe in it. Are you getting us? We cannot sell FDC to anybody. If I and I decided to go become governor bank of Uganda, which they have wished me every day, I go alone. I don't go with FDC. Are you getting me? During the elections, I have been governor. Now they call me, I'm going to become minister of what? Finance. So you are lucky that they are talking about Nandara that is capable to do something. They are not saying Kaija can become even a minister for the country. Hey, Nandara, oh. So all of you, you should be happy that you have somebody they can talk about that he has, he has capacity. Wow. Don't have people who are not having capacity to be the ones to lead your party. So I want to state that your party is your party safe and will move forward and nobody should threaten you on anything. Nobody should threaten you or not? Amen. FDC, oh yeah. Oh yeah. One Uganda. One new people. One new people. One Uganda. God be with you. Okay. And other members' nomination to make our party called FDC known locally and internationally. FDC is a party for the Forum for Democratic Change. We believe in democracy. We don't believe in uh, passing through the windows. We believe in democracy. Our leaders are put in a place in a democratic way. So I was elected as a secretary general with 806 votes in 2015. My term was due to end in July in 2020. Due to COVID, FDC as a party could not conduct its grassroots elections up to have the delegates in place to put a structure. A law was passed by parliament which told all political parties to find a mechanism in which to put in place their leadership and also to put in place the candidates who are going to contest for the 2021 general election. FDC in its wisdom decided to have a national council meeting in October to find a way how do we renew membership of the members. They decided to have an extension of members on the date of 8th October 2020 for three years. That means our leadership of FDC is expiring on 8th, on 7th of October this year. If we don't put in place a leadership by then, this party will be in a crisis and it can be deregistered. And that's why in the wisdom of the party, in the last year, October, it was decided that we start kickstart the process of putting the structure from the grassroots. It was approved, a budget was approved, and the process was set in place by the Electoral Commission. Today, as we speak, all districts from the grassroots who have participated in the exercise have done the exercise and now we are waiting for only one exercise to have the National Executive Committee put in place on 6th October. Our party constitution clearly states that the term you hold is for only two terms, if at all. So I have served the first term as a Secretary General. I am asking the people of FDC to give me an opportunity to serve my second term and the final one as per our constitution. And that's why you see me today here being nominated for my second term and the final. I want to thank the people of FDC who trusted me for the last term and ask them again Give me an opportunity for this time.
Eight years. Well, I'm not serving in eight years, it was, I'm serving the second term, which I'm asking for. What is special about it, I don't jump the chew. In 2012, I jumped the chew, I stood with General Muntu, I lost with 32 votes. All of you remember, I went back and served General Muntu as a party president. By then, I was a deputy treasurer general of the party. I thought the time had reached. God gives you three things. He says, I've given you weight, I'll never give you. God told me to wait, so I waited. He said, now you are fit to be a secretary general for now. And that's why I'm serving as secretary general. After this term, I'll make a decision on which post to go for. I might become secretary for education or secretary for culture because I want to become a bishop. <laughs> to the people of Uganda and the FDC specifically, that those who came in the party and are going away or went away, they were not serious. I stood in the 2012, I lost. Many people came to me and they said I should go, I said I go where? And this is the only party I know and I'm here. From here I'll go back to my village. Those who are going away, or who went away were not serious members. And that's why some of them want to jump through the window to become leaders. In FDC, you don't jump through the window. You go and the public, the people of FDC, puts you in place. So I am not scared. And I can tell you, as we speak now, maybe those were the people who have been disturbing the party, the party will become stronger. And I can tell you, FDC is going to become stronger and stronger, and it will take power in this country. Mwache would have become a member of Yara. Martin Wanda would have become a member of Yara. And I want to tell the people of Uganda that never fear anything, even in, uh, when a, a vote is at a Marua port and a member, don't run away, vote. Let them win you there. So we lost. I want to state those elections you have seen in FDC were put by the party and it is following the constitution. Those who never wanted to participate, thinking that they will be really be followed crying for them, they will have to wait for five years. And I'm sorry for Dr. Jesse get to say we're masqueraders. I think he's a masquerader. If a whole doctor who has been there with us in the struggle, every day giving us hope that we're going to state house, walk to work, we walked. I have, have we, I'm still even walking. We hit the salt pans. We blew whistles. We, what haven't we done? And every day he tells us, we, the man, umusaja katitumu nye nyari kumpe ugenda. Paka na katitana ba ugenda. Ya ida gamba gamba, wa masikaredas. I can tell you, whoever believes in Dr. Jessige now, is also becoming outdated. Dr. Jessige did his part. He has finished his part. He should allow us also do our part. Excuse me, Uganda. Excuse me, Uganda. Atuena po mkisa tukolechi, tukole. Neta jia kutule katonga, atu gambe, fete tulewe, fete tumanche ukola. Fefe inatu amu supportinga, ilinya liyari na fetu amu ukolela. Katisa wazi no, ya kuteke o PFT nekwa, kumanga tetuli yiyo. Ela katisa wazi no, haba gobele Dr. Jessige. Dr. Jessige, saa wazi no, alinotu gobele na fe. Fetu amu wa support yona, saa wazi no, Dr. Jessige taina wa tutuwala. Njaga lao kubuli ya bana Uganda, ya tu gamba walk to work, we did walk to work. Tukuwe, tufuwe filimbi, ne tufuwa. Ne tukuwa sefuria. Ne tukuwa agama msaja wede. Imiya kijiju jigenzo msaja temula wa agenda. Ndela eza. Tetula wa jinatu wale. Ntewe nako la government. Nalindo waza agenda kumpa wa cheke. Nsa iningenga minisa wa finance. Saji laba. Katisa wazi no atuwa mkisa nafe tukole. Alabireko. Nchitera che. Yaliwa na nechigu wako. Nafe atuwa mkisa tukole. Deo kutule ye katonga. Obo genda kumawule atuvume. Ya msaja si msaja mlungu. My friends have spoken about 
historical events of this party. And I've taken the opportunity to thank a number of people who formed the building blocks of this organization. Today, when I see and read what is happening in social, on social media, where FDC is going against FDC, using very, very unkind words, I feel very sad for those who put their all into the building of this organization. Previous speakers have spoken about my brother, Yusuf Sibambi. I've been around the country talking to some of you in the last few weeks and I did speak to the goodness and brilliance of Yusuf Sibambi. 58 leaders left Uganda to go to South Africa and in a place outside Johannesburg about one hour north called Krugersdorp we held the first ever national delegates conference of DFDs. The FDC had already been formed back home and one of our main objectives of going to South Africa was to endorse Dr. Kiza Besije and cause his return to this country. Some of you were privy to this event. But there was a turning point when Dr. Kiza Besige was arrested and his candidature for the election of 2006 was on the balance. I want to thank Yusuf Sibambi, who is here. Yimba Mutale who is not with us. John Matovu, who is also not here for saving the candidature of Dr. Kizabis. So for you who goes on social media to insult these three gentlemen Claiming you are fighting for Dr. Kiza Besige. You do not know what you are fighting for. I could go on and on. But I am one person whose defiance credentials some people want to question. Somebody who has been in jail several times, including staying in Nagalama, lying on the same floor with Dr. Kiza Besije for 13 days, waiting to be charged with murder. And today, a man with 30 consistent years of resist resistance against the dictatorship in Kampala is being branded an ANRM person preparing to sell the FDC to Musebe. That is probably the greatest insult I have had in the entire political, my entire political career. 
But you would expect this in politics. When you disagree with some people. I came here in 2017. Courtesy of the votes that some of you gave to me. I had expected a smooth presidency. I thought because I was supported by everybody, I would be allowed to sit in Najana Nkumbi and help to direct matters here. Unfortunately, some people thought otherwise. They thought I should be under the direction and control of them. That I would be told what to do while president here. That I would serve their interests while sitting in Najana Nkumi. I said to them, I'm a man of my own. I am not going to have come under the command, direction, instruction of anybody, whatever he says. I think that's where my troubles with Katonga started. When the FDC was in great need of having a candidate for the presidency, we went to Dr. Kizabeski and asked whether he would change his mind about an earlier decision that he had taken not to run. And he said, I'm not running. The next that we asked for him, from him was support in terms of, first of all, looking for votes, but also in terms of financing, helping us show it, to show us where he used to get money. He failed us on both accounts and gave all sorts of excuses why he would not come to the elections. I traveled from north to east, east to west, south to West Nile. I went to the plains of Teso. I went to the terraces of Kigezi, to Bundibujo. I saw some of you coming from Bundibujo here, Chairman Musema and the others as if I was an offer. And yet I had put in my everything during the previous elections supporting Dr. Kizabes. Indeed, as it has already been mentioned, I risked my constituency in 2016 when I was appointed the National Field Coordinator for the National Campaign. First, during the internal processes where Dr. Kizabeske was elected, flag bearer, and then later in the National Campaign. And there is evidence to this. Recently, I told our founding president that I didn't believe it was about dirty money, that he didn't come to the campaign. It wasn't about COVID either, but it was because he wanted to preserve himself for another day politically. We here in the leadership came under intense pressure to hand over the flag to the NUP candidate, and we rejected that. We felt we had a responsibility to preserve our party. 
we were not about to surrender our party at the whims of individuals serving personal interests to another political organization. If we hadn't done that, there will probably be no FDC to speak about today. That was my crime number three. Today we gather here, ladies and gentlemen, fellow comrades, to underline our democratic credentials. And permit me at this point to congratulate all of you who successfully got elected in your different villages, parishes, sub-counties, counties, and districts. Congratulations, comrades. It is because of you that we can speak about an election. And this particular election was conducted under very difficult circumstances, as you are aware. Because there was conflicting information. Our friends in Katonga said, don't participate in the elections. And some people listened to them. Because of the two centers of power, the second center of power actually, that Katonga has deliberately built over the years. And to you, my brother Moses, it's not just that we dislike the districts in Western Uganda. As a matter of fact, it is the leaders, or are the former leaders now, who shielded the common man from participating in that election. And I want to assure you, my dear friends, we are going to work around that to ensure that the, the 20 districts, or even less, of Western Uganda get on board. And work has already started. You are coming here emphasizes the fact that you are going to listen to one command center, your president, and the leaders in Nayanankumi are not the leadership in Katonga because they do not constitute the recognized leadership that was elected into office under the law. And so, I sometimes laugh at my elder Dr. Kiza Mesije, Elias Lukoago, the Lord Mayor, a man of the law, uh, people like uh, Semujunganda, Ambassador, Ambassador Birigua, Mujuke, and the rest for attempting to stage a coup. This is the fourth attempt to remove the leadership from Najan Nkumi. The first attempt is when they came here, breathing fire to challenge the authority of the president and that of the secretary general. We pushed them back. The second attempt was together with people around the Lord Mayor whom I appointed. They attempted to disorganize the National Executive Committee in order that the elections that we have participated and are going to participate in does not happen. From that time, they ran to Zambia, 
and they fell flat on their faces. They went to the fairway and they fell flat on their faces. The third attempt to stage a coup was when Dr. Kiza Besike came here to the 15th National Council. And true to his promise of three years before, he came accusing me, the Secretary General, and the leadership here of taking dirty money from Museveni. And the Secretary General has spoken, and I believe spoken for all of us on this matter. That coup as well collapsed. The fourth attempt to stage a coup and get into the leadership of the FDC through the ventilator instead of going through the front door happened on the 19th at Katonga. Where a chairman of the party behaving like a comedian hastily organized what they now call an extraordinary delegates conference. I want to say to you, my dear friends, we are here, we are in charge. Those leaders who assign themselves duties are leaders of Katonga, they are leaders of Birigwa, the leaders of Dr. Kiza Besiji, they have no bearing at all on the leadership in Najanam Kumbi, and the leadership has remained intact. I was a, a bit tempted to fire Birigwa, Salam, and Kajinda for failing in their duties. under the constitution but so far I have been restrained by the working committee the moment I have my way Birigwa will no longer be chairman of this party I have the powers under article 28 3b Roman 3 to perform that duty I will tell you this today What we have learned about what is happening in Najanam Kumbi today is that we need to entrust responsibility in the hands of serious people, not jokers. We need to trust leadership in the hands of people who truly understand our party. Sometimes when I see Birigua playing around with the party, he was one mistake that we made. He had just come from NRM a day before and brought under the guise that he was an expert in Buganda affairs, that he knew Mengo, that he had a following in Buganda, He was even an ambassador before, brought the Celtel here, knew how to dance very well. He danced before you remember. And yet, he had never felt the pain that we went through building this party. Today, one of the biggest mistakes that we have is when we allowed Elias Lukwago, a person known as a trap, at all of you here, I feel happy. Because if you see a younger generation seated carefully 
listen carefully, then you know that we are moving. I am an advocate of people who believe in changing systems as things move on. There must be systems. That's why we have a constitution in this party. Anybody who diverts from this constitution and he wants to do his own things, create your own structure, get out of FDC, let the FDC people continue the way they are. I worked with my brother, Besje. I suffered for him, everybody knows. Spent a lot of money on that man. He organized my cars, as he was talking about. But now, what he's paying back to us is that you people, you are stupid. Get out, I want to take over FDC again. Then, if you want to conduct a coup, in this party, if we give you the office of the president of Uganda, will you ever leave that chair? Will you ever? So I am asking you to adhere to the constitution of this party. Don't deviate. We had allowed him as elders. He said, no, let's go for this, uh, uh, you know, demonstrating in town. You know, the committee gave him permission. Nick said, go there, go do your violence there, and uh, be in touch with us. But I'm told, since then he has never reported in, you know, to this, to this party. So he decided to inflame himself, to think that his FDC, everybody should be with him. We gave him two terms, and the constitution demands once you finish your two terms, you can, you know, go to another office. For example, I was the treasurer general here. Two terms, 10 years, from 2005 to 15. I left. I'm a founding member, would have claimed, you people, where are you taking me? I said, no, I must go behind and push this younger generation that has come in to make sure that they do, they do and complete what we, that we didn't accomplish. But that's just still thinks he's the only one who is better than everybody. There is no way, no way, no way. We have resisted before and we shall continue resisting. So you, the younger generation, get more organized. This is your headquarters. Me and Nanda Ramafabi plus the system organized this place, paid for it with the help of parliament, members of parliament. This is your headquarters. If Bessie wants to be as a member of the party, he can come back here. There are many, you know, many chairs around. Surely, yes, when they come here, when they come here, I don't rush to Nanda Ramafari to sit there, rush the chairman's or the president's chair. No, I am a member of the party. I am entitled to coming here, right? If you say come and sit here, that's where I sit. But I can't force that since I am a founding member of this party, therefore, I must be here. I must be in this office. So I am requesting you, the younger generation, please, Get organized. Don't just, you know, play around. Get organized. Make sure the structures of the party are well organized. Do the recruitment. Put in new people so that we have another younger generation behind you. Otherwise, the party will just vanish. So, with these few words, that you as the elder, come and help and be the chairman. Since I have my brothers here that I have worked with, I'm not worried. If you can select power to be the next president, 
You put Nanda and Mafaba, he worked with as a Secretary General, as we plan to look for a candidate for the presidency. You get me? So please, I am pushing you as the younger generation, please get organized. We got organized, that's how we have, that's why we have this party here. I'm the one of those, me and this man from, uh, from, uh, from Acholi, Regan Okumu. It's we, me and him who went to rescue Besije when he was stuck in South Africa. We sat for three nights, three nights convincing him to come back. And we bring him back, we give him the presidency, all the terms he wanted, he, you know, he used it, now he wants to disorganize FDC from his own group. That one we cannot accept. That one we cannot accept. So all this, all this is in your hands as the younger generation. For us, me, Paul, we are now at another level, given our age. So now we are leaving it to you. But all is no at our door, we shall come. Like I was asked, the party people came and said, come and stand. If you want me just to serve and guide you, because this constitution, I was fully involved in its creation and registration. Nobody can tell you, it's not rest to create this party. Yes, we were three groups, Parliamentary Advocacy Forum, of which I was again the Treasurer General in the Parliament of Uganda. I was among those who brought an idea, can't we work with this reform agenda? And uh, they accepted, and that's how we got in touch with the reform agenda. That's how we went to South Africa, discussed with Vesje, and they finished. We say come to our president, but now he wants to disorganize every leader in the party. I understand he has sent messages in my constituency. I welcome him in Ruchiga, let him come there to disorganize, then we shall see how me and him can face each other. <laughs> lastly, lastly, the new executive which is coming in, you can see we need a lot of work here. There are things me I look at. Nandara had promised that uh, we shall modernize here, and that's why I'm asking you to give these people a chance, another five years, to try and see how we can improve this place. So that we have a, a permanent home. Elders, my colleagues, please advise the youth in your districts. This party is on the right course. This evening, I'm told I'm going to be on NBS. They rang me, and I said I'm meeting who? I want you just to, to watch, because I think Katonga is sending people there. I want to meet them tonight, and then we see uh, how we handle. Every soye, every soye, ra, ra. Thank you, Honorable Chairman Saviti. As I told you, one Uganda, one people, Ra, Cha, Ah. My dear friends, 